In this short video, I'm going to explain question 17 from page 332 on uh, chapter 6.2, radian measure and angles on the Cartesian plane. The question says that given that x is an acute angle, draw a diagram of both angles in standard position in each of the following equalities. For each angle, indicate the related acute angle as well as the principal angle. Then, referring to your drawings, explain why each equality is true. Okay, so this is much easier than it sounds. So, it says the sine of x, so now x is supposed to be an acute angle. So, we'll call, the, we'll call angle x theta, just to have something to work with here. So, if this is my sine of x, um, I'm looking for the sine of pi minus x. So, here's pi over here, 180 degrees minus x or minus theta here. So my principal angle is going to be the angle that goes from here to here. So the expression says that the sine of x is equal to the sine of pi minus x. And you know that to be true because if we just add in the cast rule here, C-A-S-T, you know that, for instance, the sine of 30 degrees is the same as the sine of 150 degrees. And if you want further proof, you could draw yourself very quickly a little diagram here of your sine function. So sine function, this is 360, this is 180, or 2 pi and pi. And so the sine of 30 is the same as the sine of 150. Okay, so I, I know you probably get this already, but just to reinforce that idea as we go about the different ones here. Okay, so obviously the sine of pi minus x is equal to the sine of x. Okay, in the second example here, it says, oh, I'm doing C second, doesn't matter. They're just on the right side of the page. I'm going to flip back to x here because I probably should have started with that anyway. So they're calling this, this is your acute angle. The related acute angle for pi minus x. So you have to start on the axis and subtract x. So this would be the minus x. So this is your related acute angle over here. And the principal angle would be going all the way over to here. Now again, what I want to put in, I want to see where's cos. So cos is only positive here and here, but not here or here. So the cos of x, which is going to be positive here, is going to be equal to pi minus x, but it's going to have to be the negative of it because cos is going to be negative in this quadrant. Now you can also draw a quick diagram to prove that as well, and that would go like, let's say I do cos function like this, and I know that at pi here, so if I do pi minus x or I do x, these are going to be, uh, this one will be positive and this one will be negative for the same um, related acute angle, and you know that. Okay, let's take a look at the last two. So this one says the sine of x is equal to the negative sine of 2 pi minus x. So I think the hardest part is just making sure you're in the right spot. So here's my x, my related acute, not my related acute, but the, the acute angle. The related acute angle for this principal angle is this angle here. Note they are the same size because I'm doing 2 pi minus an x, so that goes this way. Now sine in this quadrant is negative because only cosine is positive here. So if I want the sine of x, that's going to have to be the negative sine of 2 pi minus x because in this quadrant, that would be negative. Now you can always check these as well, right? It's like say, say if I said, what's the sine of 30 degrees? And I'm just going to use degrees. I know you're using radians now, but sometimes it's good to flip back to these just to explain things. So the sine of 30 is equal to, so this angle here, if I went all the way around, this would be 360 minus 30 would be 30 degrees. So if I put the sine of 330 degrees here, 
and you go on your trusty calculator and just make sure mine's in uh, in degrees just to start let's see mode it is okay so we're going to quit and we'll clear that too that doesn't matter does it clear okay so the sign I said the sign of 30 so I do sign 30 oh that's 0.5 but what's the sign of 330 now you should know this answer is going to be negative watch bam see minus 0 0.5 so in order for these to be equal this has to be the negative oh i'm sorry i didn't have it on the screen so the sine of 30 is 0 0.5 but the sine of 330 is negative 0 0.5 for so for me to make these equal this would have to be equal to the negative sign of this and that's what we write here the negative sign of 2 pi minus x is equal to this you can always plug in some numbers right you can always check that out okay in the last one it says the tan of x so here's my x again my acute angle my principal angle goes all the way around here so remember this is principal principal angle and the related acute angle is this one here which will have the same length of x so this says pi plus x so that brings me down into this quadrant and c a s t tan is positive here so the tan of x is simply going to be equal to the tan of pi plus x okay so that's a complete explanation of page 332 number 17 please subscribe if you haven't i did a little check the other day and only 30 percent of you who watch my channel actually subscribe it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe but it will make me happy good luck with your studying bye for now